How to use a cheat table. First of all, you're going to need Cheat Engine. You can go to cheatengine.org and download it straight from their website, or you can go to their GitHub if you want to compile it yourself. Next, you're going to need a cheat table. We provide ours on Centrix.net, and you can go to the table section and search for the game that you would like. When you get to this page, it just downloaded as such, and you can either open the tables directly if you have Cheat Engine associated with a CT file extension, or you can open Cheat Engine on its own, then go to this folder icon over here and load it as such. If you get a pop-up like this, you can just close it. You don't need it. Next, we're going to open our game. Most of our tables come with an auto-attach script in the Enable button. Click Enable and it should automatically attach to the game it's supposed to. If for whatever reason it doesn't, you can click this icon and manually attach to the game. Next, most of our tables will have an initialized mono or mono or something named similar as a script right below the enable. If the table contains this, you should activate it. When you activate it, a bar may appear at the bottom of your table and you should wait until it finishes loading. As you can see, a cheat table consists of several lines and some of these lines contain the word script over here in the value column. Script items are supposed to be activated by clicking the box in the active column. If you click the box on a script item and the red square doesn't appear, you can right click it and an error message should appear at the top over here. If you want our assistance in the Discord server and you have an issue with the script, you should send us a screenshot of the error message that appears. There are two more things that you may find in a cheat table. A line with a value, a type, and an address, and a line with nothing at all. The lines with nothing at all behind it are called headers. You can freely click them and they may open or in some cases they may not. The lines with a value and an address sometimes may display question marks. This means that this value is invalid and you shouldn't touch it. The ones that do have a value, like these for example, say this game has achievement boss kills, shouldn't just be activated. As you can see, when I click this box, nothing happens. That is because when you activate an address in Cheat Engine, it does something called freezing, which means that Cheat Engine will attempt to keep this value at what it is. For example, you see this number go up, and when I click this box, it tries to keep it at whatever number I had originally froze it at. Instead, if you want to change a number, you can either right click it, change record, and then value, or double click it and then change its value to whatever you like. I hope this helps for those of you that aren't quite sure on how to use these tables. If you have any more questions or you would like to request a game, you can find us at centrix.net or on our Discord server that can be found either in our tables or on the website.